I'm Jason from Woody's Auto Sales here to show you this 2005 Lexus RX 330. Really nice little vehicle. It's got 108,000 miles on it. It's been really well taken care of and kept maintained. It's black in color as you can see. Black paint's in good shape. It's got uh, uh, Perel, no, Yokohama tires on it that are still about 80%. It's so still really good tread on the tires. Uh, of course, leather interior. It's got the DVD player. It's got uh, all kinds of, of, of really nice features. It's fully, fully loaded. It's got the Xenon high intensity headlights with the uh, AFS, which is the, or AFC, which is the auto uh, tracking device in there that as you turn the vehicle, the headlights can turn with you. But a lot of cool features. Let me just do a walk around on this uh, real quick and show you the body and paint, and I'll show you the interior in a second. It's got all the tinted glass in the back. Being black, of course, you know, it's hard to keep them clean, but it's in pretty it's in pretty good shape. A couple little nicks and dings here and there, not dings I should say. The body is very straight. A couple little just little scratches from whatnot that we just touched up and but it looks really good. I mean it looks really, really good in, in person. Front end is uh, all perfect. No no rock chips or anything like that. Glass is really is really good. No rock chips or pitting in the windshield. I mean it's in really really good shape. Everything works. So like on this handle here, I'll show you an example. I don't know if you, know if you can see them. There's a couple little teeny scratches right here we touched up. Uh, you know of course down here on the little molding where people kind of nick it when they open their door here and there. But we've polished it and touched them all up, so they look good. I'm not, you know, I'm just letting you know it's not perfect brand new paint, but it looks really nice, especially for black. Um, the interior's in really good shape. The leather shows minimal wear, especially for 108 on the miles. And uh, and 108, by the way, is average or just below average for this 05 vehicle. So and it's still got lots of life left in it. Wood grain, leather interior does have the DVD player, like I said. Um, it's got the uh, navigation system, automatic. It's got the heated seats, um, six disc changer right here. It's got the uh, auto dimming mirror and the sunroof and everything. It's in just fabulous shape. Open this back door here and show it to you. Carpets back here really nice. Leather back here is in really super good shape. It's got a full set of floor mats. It's got the automatic lift gate as well. It's got the mat here for the uh, cargo area too. All the seats fold down. The passenger front carpet, somebody spilled a little something down in there. It's about the color of Pepto-Bismol. We shampooed it real good. It doesn't come out, but the mat covers all of it. The mat comes right up to this edge. So when the floor mats are down, you don't see it at all. But unfortunately, it's there, so I want to point that out. And uh, it's, it's pretty well there for good. It's stained, so... But that's the only real defect in the inside of this. Uh, the center console, let's see where is it, it has a little, there it is. It slides forward and back, which is kind of cool. So it's got a little lever inside the cup holder that you pull and slides it. Uh, so it either allows you to have some room down here for storage or, you know, you slide it up and, and, uh, have it go right up to the shifter so yeah it's pretty cool I'm um, trying to think of what other options I can show you that it's got uh, like I said it does have this uh, factory DVD player here and so you just insert your disc back here a little screen there so all the passengers back here can enjoy the movie right, let me get back up to the front we'll show you the engine compartment Start it up for you. It's got 
up your memory on the wheel. So as soon as you put in that key, it remember, remembers everything. So all your climate control stuff is up here, and there's your nav. And you, you know, you hit your climate, and control your fan speed here. All that. It's, it's pretty cool. Keeps track of the time and everything for you. So, yep. Nice. Nice, nice. Let me show you under the hood and I'll kind of go over what we did on this vehicle. It was a really light head. It didn't deploy any airbags or anything. It does have this 3.3 liter V6. That's a new battery that we put in here. So, it's brand new. So, ready to go this winter. Um, minimal minimal damage to this vehicle um it it does have the the xenon high intensity headlights like i said with the uh the ability to track where you turn and turn with you they're very very expensive headlights if you were to if you break them um the you know the bulbs and all that themselves aren't bad but the if you if you actually break a capsule they're two thousand dollars each from the dealership um plus i mean there's other little things that 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 would add to that cost like if it had the afs so if um you know we so and it, it got in a wreck and i don't know if they like hit the back of a truck or something because they hit something kind of high it didn't bend the frame or anything under here um it did damage the plastic cover so i did buy a new cover but the rest of this is all original those fog lights are both original on the sides um, the headlights were damaged they were still here but the lenses were broken and so we had to buy new capsules and so these capsules have been replaced we were able to use all the computer and the high intensity lights everything out of the old ones to make these work so they were less expensive if you buy them that way if you just buy an empty capsule so we were able to replace those headlights uh, we replaced the radiator support which is this metal piece here goes across here we needed a new radiator and a new air conditioning condenser and uh kind of got hit like right here mostly so we put on and a, the hood's been replaced so this this is a new hood and a new grill the emblem is original here um, and so, and it, and it pushed the old battery kind of back like this, and it put a hole in the air box right here. So it kind of went, you know, like this and broke that. So this is a replacement air box, new battery, radiator support, blah, 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 all the headlights and that. So everything I just told you. So didn't deploy the airbags or anything. Um, you could still run, start the car. Couldn't run it for very long because it didn't have radiator fluid in it. Um, but, you know, so it didn't have any coolant. So you'd only want to let it run for a second, but it, you know, it did run and start and drive. So no, nothing really mechanical was damaged. So we have replaced everything in the cooling system up front there, and the air conditioning condenser, and it blows really nice cold air conditioning. It's just a really, really nice little Lexus. It's very smooth. I've had it up on the freeway, done all the test driving with it. It's, drives out real well. Everything, like I said, works. Cruise works. Everything works. Um, it does not have the laser cruise control. Some of these, a few of them also had a that, had that where it had a little laser would shoot out when you hit the cruise and then when you were behind somebody or got behind somebody that was going slower than you, it would automatically slow you down to their speed and then when they moved it would pick you back up to the speed you had. That's a cool feature. This does not have that. But um, other than that, I think it has everything else that you could that you, that you could get on one of these. So if you're going down the options list looking at what this has on it, it has everything but the, the, but the laser cruise. Um, so yeah, really nice little Lexus. If it's something you've been looking for, a little SUV, I invite you to come on down, take a look, and see it in person. I'd be happy to show it to you. You won't be disappointed, and uh, I can answer any questions then. Thanks for looking. Have a nice day.